live trial was commissioned by the Connected Places Catapult in October 2021 as part of the Zero Emission Flight Infrastructure Programme. This project is looking at how um, smaller airfields within the UK can lead the way in electric aviation and in this case working with renewable electricity. What we're trying to prove here is uh, we're trying to create a showcase for the local airfields in the UK. Uh, majority of people think electric aviation is way away, it's many years away. It's actually not. So by doing this, we're showing that can be done today. What makes this really special is this is the first demonstration of its kind in the UK. There has been electric flights before, but this is using renewable energy. We perform this flight on a live airfield and we then come back and charge the aircraft again. So this work is really exciting. We're really pleased to see what's been done. To build a charging station like this at a CAA approved airfield, uh, there are normal planning considerations that you'd have with, with any building. Other than that, the permissions are dealt with by the airfield under their authority through the CAA. So it's no more onerous than any other PV installation. The microgrid at the moment is configured to fast charge the Pipistrel. In the past we've charged other EVs as well, our aircraft and a motorbike at the same time. So yes, we can charge up to three vehicles at a time. What makes it special, I think, is the collaboration between different companies trying to achieve that. Because we only operate the aircraft. Uh, we couldn't build a charging station, so Nancats comes in with this fantastic charging station solution and there was a lack of funds and as comes connecting places kind of pulled with financial support. What we've demonstrated here today is that we can effectively charge the existing electric aircraft at remote airfield sites like this using existing technologies.